Now let us talk about worksheet. It is the main area of the Excel window. It is where you enter and edit data, create formulas and charts. As you can see here, a worksheet is made up of rows and columns. Rows are horizontal and columns are vertical. The intersection of a row and a column is called a cell. Here in the upper left corner of the Excel window, what you see is the name box. It displays the name or the address of the active cell. For example, this cell is at the intersection of F column and the 8th row. So the name box would display F8. You can use the name box to type and navigate directly to a particular cell. Just type in the address of the cell here. For example, if I want to navigate to D25, I will type in D25 and press enter. And you can see that it has directly taken me to that cell. Now next to the name box is the formula bar. It is used to enter and edit formulas and values in cells. So to understand that, consider the data that I have entered here, which displays the marks of a student in different subjects. We also have calculated the total marks secured by the student by adding the marks obtained in these three subjects, English, Mathematics and Science. Now when I click on the cell and when you look at the formula bar, you can see the formula that has been used to perform this calculation. You can also double click on the cell to display the formula. So you can see that both the formula bar and the cell show the same formula. Now if you want to edit the formula, you can do it either from the cell over here or you can go to the formula bar to perform the edits. Now for example, I want to calculate the sum of only two subjects that is English and Mathematics and exclude science. I can make the change to the cell range. So currently you can see that it performs the calculation across the cells from F8 to F10. Now I would change that to F8 to F9. You can see that as I change the range over here, the selection changes accordingly. So now it is considering only these two cells and it has recalculated the total. The formula bar also displays the results of formulas. Now moving on, the bar that is located here at the bottom of the Excel window is the status bar. It displays information about the current state of the Excel workbook such as the current zoom level, the page layout, workbook statistics and so on. Also, if you have some values entered into your worksheet like we have over here and if you select that, you can directly have a view of some of the calculations such as the average, count, sum. Now, if you want, you can also customize the status bar to add or remove the information that is displayed on it. For example, along with the average and sum that is already being displayed, I also want to display the maximum value. For that, right click on it and select the options that you want to display. The ones that are checked in the list are the ones that are already being displayed and you would be able to see that based on the data that is present on your worksheet. Now, as I said, I also want to display the maximum value. So for that, all I have to do is just check this option. Now you can see that the maximum value is also being displayed in the status bar. To summarize, the Excel interface is designed to be user-friendly and intuitive. The ribbon and the quick access toolbar make it easy to find the commands that you need and the name box and the formula bar make it easy to enter and edit data and formulas. The worksheet is the main area where you work with data and the status bar provides information about the current state of the workbook.